take a look at XRP. Uh, XRP are very similar to you know Polygon and what else uh, Polka that it looks like we are you know breaking out of you know this uh, bear market uh, downtrend. So you know XRP has broke out. We actually have broke out, guys. Uh, you can see it right here. I mean, I can bring it right down. Make sure I'm touching, you know, these levels right here. Uh, but XRP has finally broke out of, you know, this bear market trend. Now, again, you know, really the bigger question is, are we going to see a continuation of this rally right here? Uh, when you look at a lot of these projects, you know, a lot of work needs to be done. And this is why, you know, I continue to believe that we have to be extremely cautious. So, you know, for XRP on the weekly time, you know, we're looking at 91 cents. Uh, that is going to be our next target. Uh, but first we have to take out, you know, 54 cents. Uh, if we can take out 54 cents, there's a lot of confluence around 54 cent, around 50 cents, basically. Uh, so 50 cents in general, guys, there's a lot of confluence in this range right here. Uh, you can see, you know, previously, you know, this range has acted as a support, but it has also acted as a, as a resistance. So there's a lot of confluence, you know, right down uh, between, you know, 50 and 65 cents. So if we can break out of this range, then your next price target is going to be uh, 91 cent. Uh, 91 cent is a big target. Uh, what I would like to see, you know, moving forward, you know, for me to be bullish on XRP again, and for me to feel comfortable, you know, really speculating that 28 cents, you know, was the bottom of this bear market. Uh, so I would like to see something like this, where we push all the way up to 91 cent, come all the way back here, you know, to retest this 50 cents range. Uh, I would like to see, you know, XRP not drop below 50 cents. As long as we can hold this range right here, guys, bounce off this range, push back to retest, you know, 91 cents and break above, you know, 91 cents, then, you know, this will be extremely bullish for, you know, XRP. And you're more likely to see you know, a lot of, you know, long-term swing traders and a lot of, you know, long-term investors, you know, come in around, you know, 60 cents and, you know, 70 cents, because this right here will be a huge, you know, signal to a lot of investors. Uh, if we hold, you know, 50 cents, if we hold this range right here, this will be a huge signal. And if you are bullish on XRP, you know, long term, uh, you know, this right here, guys, is a huge, you know, statement. And moving forward, you, you're more likely to buy, you know, any of these pullbacks. So any of the pullbacks will be huge opportunities. Uh, but of course, you know, you guys can see, you know, a lot of work needs to be done. Uh, this is a big move right here, guys. I mean, we're talking about an 84% move from the current price. So when you look at something like this, you know, when you look at the size of this move right here, you know, this is, you know, one of the major reasons why, you know, I continue to think that even if we do get, you know, a big rally, you know, until we can retest, you know, these key levels and hold them, you know, as a support and until, you know, we can bounce off, you know, this 21 uh, weekly EMA that has acted, you know, as a support in bull markets, you know, I still think that we can, you know, definitely come back and retest these, you know, lower targets. Uh, but nonetheless, guys, you know, XRP is definitely looking very good right now. You know, the fact that we actually broke above, you know, the 21 weekly, came back to retest the 21 weekly, and, you know, it looks like we are, you know, bouncing off uh, this 21 weekly EMA. Uh, this is, you know, I am going to say that this is, you know, extremely bullish.
uh, if I was going to trade XRP, uh, I would definitely take a position, you know, somewhere around here, uh, pull my stop loss, you know, under the 21 weekly EMA. Uh, so let's say I get in around here, guys, at 49 cents. I put my stop loss, you know, right somewhere around uh, 40 cents. So put my stop loss, you know, somewhere around 40 cents. And in terms of, you know, profit targets, uh, I'm looking at 64 cents as my first target. And right after that, I'm looking at 75 cents. Right up here, guys, my second target. And then my final target, you know, to exit my position completely, I'm looking at, you know, 91 cents. So basically, at 65 cents, or 64 cents, you know, I'm going to take out, uh, you know, 30% of my position profits, excuse me. Uh, if we get to six, uh, 75 cents, I'm going to take out, you know, 70% of my profits. Uh, excuse me, not 70%, guys. Uh, let's try to get rid of that. Uh, I'm going to take out around 60% of my profits. Uh, so I only have 10% left. And if we get to 90, I take out, you know, 100% of my profits right here. Uh, the, the other 10% basically. So I'm completely, you know, out of my position. So this is how I will play XRP. Again, if I was to get in a 49 cents, uh, my stop loss would be, you know, just underneath the 21 uh, weekly EMA somewhere around you know 40 cents you know just to protect myself you know if this trade was to go wrong and this is where you know i'll be looking to exit my position uh the reason why i want to be out you know 100 percent completely around 91 cents is because you know i just don't believe that we could break above you know 91 and continue to go up uh if you look at you know this range right here from uh from 98 cents you know all the way up to 91 there's a lot of confluence right here guys you know tougher tougher resistance you know right in this range right here so you know the probabilities of a continuation you know after 91 is you know less likely and you know thinking about the fact that the move you know started all the way back here around 30 cents, you know, all the way up into the 90s. I mean, we're talking about, what is this, a 200% a move? This is a 200% move right here, guys. You know, in a bear market rally, uh, this is more than enough to be completely out of your position. Uh, but let me know in the comment section, of course, you know, your thoughts on uh, XRP. Uh, personally. There's absolutely no reason to be bullish on XRP. You know, I think there is, you know, better investments uh, in the crypto market that can generate, you know, more profits than XRP. And you don't have to take on, you know, the risk that exists with this project. XRP is a gambler. I, I I completely agree. If Ripple loses a lawsuit against the SEC, then it doesn't look good. And that is, you know, exactly what I also think. I think, you know, XRP is one of those, uh, you know, you really got to roll the dice. There's a 50 chance it's going to work out. And then you also have the risk, you know, if they lose their case against, you know, the SEC, I mean, this is a project that is going to go to completely zero, guys. Like, literally. Uh, when you look at the market, there's over 21, you know, thousand uh, cryptocurrency projects. So I think, you know, your capital will be better off, you know, in different projects where you don't have to take on, you know, all of the risk that comes with, you know, XRP.